Hi, I'm Peter Overby. I uh, work for National Public Radio. I cover uh, what NPR calls the power of money and influence beat, which uh, makes a really impressive business card. Um, and I've, I've been doing this since 1994. So I've been watching the, um, the chess game that is the campaign finance reform battle since then. Uh, I'm struck that right now it feels to me that there are a lot more uh, pieces moving on the board than you usually see. Uh, contrary to, uh, to some others today, I'm, I'm not convinced of two things. One is that the, the time is ripe for public financing. Um, I'm not convinced it isn't, but uh, I'm aware that it's a really big step for Congress to take. It's a step that they have um, passed on many, many times before, and that there are a lot of competing issues that they've got to deal with. Um, <clears throat> I'm also not convinced that small donors are, uh, are the answer for, uh, for congressional campaigns. Um, they clearly were for Barack Obama. I'm not sure, not so sure that they are for the, for instance, the uh, Eighth District of Indiana. So, um, introducing my skepticism, I want to introduce our uh, our panel: uh, Beth Rotman from Connecticut, Nick Nyhart from Public Campaign, Fred Wertheimer from Democracy 21, Richard Brufault from. Columbia Law School, and Bob Bauer from Perkins Coie, and I'll give you more thorough introductions as we move along.